first, it's a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Daniel Hooker. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor. As such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Daniel the Hangman Hooker! And now he's producing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Right hand. 
right under the elbow. Body kick land. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Oh, the straight hand lands rushed to the body by Hooker. Ooh, big shot land. McGregor gets touched again to the body. Nice punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one's blocked by Hooker. Strong straight left there. Oh, nice straight punch there by McGregor. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Beautiful kick. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, you see. I mean, big strike landed by Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Caught that kick there. Ooh. Oh, straight right. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back and forth we go! Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. That kick blocked by Hooker. Nice loop at once. That was lightning fast, that right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Hooker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Continues to mix it up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Oh, land the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Oh! Nice punch by McGregor. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial, but 42 total strikes. Have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Good fight here under two to go. Powerful leg kick land. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Whoa! Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Oh! Oh, straight right. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Under a minute now to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can... signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. 
they don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, here we go with round two. him with that money left again. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. But Gregor gets the takedown, useful. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Both fighters back to their feet now. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission. Now he's going to attack a triangle choke here. defense there. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you doing? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent think. Oh! Deuce, go. Serve him up. Go get him. He's getting lit up right now, John. That was a jab! Oh! Missed with that attempt. Yes! strength figures to be. Oh, you gotta watch him attacking submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch it. And he's out. Right hand on point. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Battling for hooks. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Relax, relax. Oh, you can... Oh, he's hurt! He's got him hurt here. out of range with the straight left hand. Oh! Just misses there with the left. Hooker's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. 
venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by...